Markon, Offshore Europe is uh, getting close to an end. How has this week been for you? I think it's been a tremendous success, actually. I, I really am delighted about it on a, on a number of levels, actually. Firstly, we've had a terrific attendance of people. Um, and, uh, you know, all of the, st the stalls and the stands, uh, people are very enthusiastic about that. Uh, and also the conference itself has been very strong. You know, we attracted very good speakers and great presenters. And uh, we've had a tremendous attendance of those and a lot of discussion and debate. And uh, that's what we wanted to try and achieve. So at the moment, I'm very happy with it. There's still another day to go and a very important day as well. But uh, so far, definitely on track. You have uh, watched several of the panel sessions and listened to the debates. Yeah. What do you remember best? Well, I think I was very struck, actually, by the opening keynote uh, address, uh, addresses, which maybe I was the chairman of that session, so I was particularly attentive. But, but it was very striking that uh, every speaker spoke uh, about climate change. Uh, and there's no doubt that that has been one of the, uh, the features of this particular offshore Europe. Um, and we also had, of course, a, a topic luncheon on that topic as well as uh, some technical sessions on it. So the issues of carbon sequestration and the broader issues of climate change, carbon pricing, and the role that our industry is going to have to play in finding solutions to the climate problem uh, was, was, was very much at the forefront uh, of that. So I was very uh, uh, pleased about that, actually, and uh, delighted to see that coming to the fore. Anything that surprised you this week? I think the sheer scale of this event, uh, even though I was, of course, part of you know, the organizing team, but when you really come here and you see it, it is an amazing event. And although I've worked in the industry for you know, nearly 30 years now, as you walk around and you see the variety of, of uh, activities that this industry is involved in, it is just awe-inspiring. Uh, so uh, every time you walk through these, uh, these halls, you'll find something that will surprise you, something new that you will learn. And that is the great thing about coming to an event like Offshore Europe. The industry keeps meeting at events like this around the world uh, during the year. What do you hope that uh, industry, uh, your colleagues in the industry, take with them until next time they meet? Well, I think there's a few things. I mean, this is a networking event as well. I mean, it, we are a global community of people working in this industry. And you do meet your old friends and colleagues and, and have a chance to network. You have a chance to learn and hear about new ideas and new uh, techniques. And, of course, our industry is a very high technology industry. And the technology is changing dramatically fast. Um, I remember on the first day, one of the speakers saying that 30% of their revenues was generated by technology that had been... Uh, in, in the market for less than three years. That's a staggering uh, achievement in our industry. So technology changes incredibly quickly. So that's why you have to have these events, because you have to keep up. And if you don't keep up, you won't be competitive. If you're not competitive, then you won't last long.